for the last four games of the season. Obviously, you got some uh, big time opponents on the schedule uh, left, but you know our, our goal is to to find a way to go out and, and be consistent with our execution for four quarters, because that's ultimately what it's going to take uh, against the teams that we have left on the schedule. Uh, this week it's homecoming week. Uh, we're excited about that. Uh, it's always uh, a lot of uh, good things going on during homecoming. Uh, I was able to, to go out to an event last night uh, with a lot of the students and uh, be able to speak and, and, and be there with them. Uh, something I was not able to do last year, obviously, during the pandemic. Um, so there's, I know there's a lot of things planned around our campus uh, for students and alumni. And uh, homecoming is always, always a, a uh, important week. But I think this year it's even a little bit more special uh, because it's coming uh, during our 25th year of our football program. So I know there's a lot of throwback stuff that we're doing uh, for that. And uh, I know we're looking forward and excited about that. Excited about having uh, many of our alumni and students at the game uh, this Saturday night versus Houston. Uh, they're number four in the country in total defense. Uh, they're number one in the country in third down defense, only giving up 25% conversions on the season. Uh, they're 10th in the country in rush defense, and they're 18th in the country in pass defense. Um, and so they're outstanding defense, uh, very fast, aggressive. They have two defensive linemen that will probably be top NFL draft picks um, that uh, have created issues for everybody that they've played this year. Uh, their offense is very explosive, some of the best uh, team speed uh, that, that uh, I think that we'll have played up to this point. So definitely going to be able to, they're going to be able to try to create some uh, matchups that we're going to have to have a plan for. And then obviously the thing everybody knows about is they got one of the best kickoff returner and punt returners in the country. Uh, this young man has either eight or nine touchdowns in his career and returns, counting his, uh, his, his uh, playing at, at Troy, what he did at Troy, and then what he's done now uh, at Houston. So uh, they're a really good team coming in. And, and really the, the message that I've had to our players is, hey, we got four games left of the season. And um, we have made progress through the first eight games. Obviously, we haven't been able to, to turn that uh, into the, the number of wins that we all uh, wanted or expected. Uh, but really, you know, this season is going to be based off how we finish, right? Everybody remembers November. And, uh, man, we got we got a, a big time. All, all three of the, the schools that are leaving to go to the Big 12 are, are uh, on our schedule here in the last four games. And then the, the next two teams we play at home are, are obviously uh, the, the, the top two teams in our league right now. So, you know, many people may look at that and, uh, you know, see a lot of challenges and adversity. Uh, but I choose to see it as opportunity. I think that, that was the big message for us on Sunday when we came back because, listen, uh, everybody's got to take ownership in this. Uh, I feel like we, we went from a year ago where we probably didn't belong on the field with them, we didn't belong on the field with Tulsa, to now a year later, like we belong. But it's not enough just to belong. Now it comes down to playing well. I mean, our, our guys, are, they're, they're believing and they're, they're playing hard. and We're just not playing well enough, and that starts with us as coaches. Uh, we got to do a better job with them, get them to uh, be able to execute in some of those situations. And then, you know, they got to be able to go out and, and execute for four quarters. And that's ultimately kind of where we are now uh, at this part of the season. Uh, Sunday, I put up uh, our remaining four games, right? Number 19, Houston, number two, Cincinnati, at Tulane, and at, at Central Florida. And, you know, my challenge to the guys is what do you see when you see this schedule? Right. What do you see? People on the outside, they may see a lot more of the same, a lot more struggle, a lot more. But what do you see? Me personally, I see opportunity. I see opportunity for this team to be able to go get uh, some of those big wins that we've been building for. Right. And that's really where it starts. It's the mindset. And that's honestly part of part of my uh, optimism for where we are right now is being around our players every day and seeing the way that they have changed their mindset and the way that, that they show up every day, and it matters to them. I'm not sure sometimes last year if it really mattered. It matters to them. And they got they got a lot of pride, and they want to see this thing get turned around. And they want to see it turned around this year in the last four games and not just, you know, the next year. So I think for me, um, you know, it's about pointing out, being real, and pointing out, hey, here are the mistakes. This is why we lost the game but also continuing that, that positive mindset of, of what we're doing because um, that, that's really the only way to get to where we want to go. I mean, it, it's hard for me and our staff being here two years and, and looking at the, the, uh, the record. Uh, there's a lot of guys in that room that were here the year before and here the year before. I mean, you think about what those guys have been through 
and for them to keep showing up each and every week and, and go out and play. We've all seen teams that just kind of lay down and just kind of woe is me and transfer portal and I'm leaving. And I, I mean, we've all seen that, but in this group, they, they've responded in an uncommon way. And that's why, that's why I believe we're going to have success here in the last four games. And that's why I believe that we're going to turn the uh, page and turn the corner as a program because of, of the, the daily decisions that this group has made and continues to make. And, uh, and it's not easy. I mean, it's, it's hard, right? I mean, it's, it's hard for everybody. Um, but, you know, it's, it's what, what is the other choice, right? To have the negative uh, mindset, what is that going to accomplish, right? So that, that's kind of where I'm. But, but ultimately, I would say I, I grew a lot in that. I learned a lot from Coach Sweeney. But for him to – and Coach Sweeney, again, he wasn't always – I mean, he, he – and my guys will tell you, in my meetings behind closed doors, we, we get after it and, and uh, we, we cover the, the mistakes and the things that need to get improved. Uh, but overall, leading with an attitude and a, and a, and a, and a, the, the power of a positive mindset uh, is truly more powerful than ever. And, uh, and I think you've seen that 